Hi, it's Amr from PushBots. So after you have the basic setup of your Android project and PushBots, it's time to push. In this video, I'll show you a couple of ways of how to send push notifications, and I'll guide you through some of the API basics for PushBots. So let's start. So this is the basic Android app that I've been working on that is connected right now to PushBots. If you don't know how to do that, I'd advise you to go to this video shown on the screen and take this five minute tutorial and understand how to have this basic setup. So the most straightforward way to start sending push notifications is to go through your dashboard and click the push composer, write your message, select platform, that's Android, and click push. As you see, we have immediately received a push notification. So that's the most easy way. For some of you, that's not enough. And for that, we have the PushBots API. If we go to the API page on PushBots website, these are all the methods available to work with uh, your device and push notifications. So there's the device API, there's the push API, there's analytics API. I'll be covering some of the very basics of how to make a successful request to PushBots. I will use the most basic and most important uh, method, which is the push. Every time you make a request to PushBots, you need to pass two headers for authentication. And this is X PushBots app ID and X PushBots secret. We need to tell the API that we're all sending JSON content. So let's do a quick example. Let me go back to my dashboard and my app. So this is the app ID and this is my app secret. So I'll start a request, a core request. So that's X pushbots app ID. And then X pushbots secret. We have also content type. Just and then we need to post. We're gonna set some JSON data. So for this one, I need to specify my platform, which will be one for Android, and the message that we will send will be hi from terminal. We will send that to HTTPS API dot pushbots.com slash push slash all. This is the end point I got from here. And it's right here. Hi from terminal. We can also try another method which is getting a list of all the devices that we have. So I'm going to make a similar request and that will be so I'm just going to do exactly the same request and just delete the post part. And as you may see, these are all the devices that are connected with the app.